In this video example, I'm going to show you how to work with lives in GameMaker Studio. And the premise will be that we'll have a character that will have three lives. And when he collides with an enemy, he will lose a life. And then if he loses all of his lives, we'll uh, explore what to do, you know, based on the game being over at that point. So I'm going to name this project Lives and Create. And now I'm going to create two sprites. I'll create a sprite for my main character. And I've been going back into the old GameMaker 8 um, sprites folders just because I'm familiar with the sprites in there. Um, there are some sprites in the GameMaker Studio area, but they're mostly tied in with tutorials. Uh, you could also download a number of uh, resource packs from the Yo-Yo game site to use additional sprites or from the internet. So I'm going to go into this maze platform and I am going to choose this nifty, where is he, one of the NPCs. I'll just use him. He's going to be my main character. Okay. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to choose a sprite for my enemy. And we will load a, let's see, oh, there we go, the ghost. And we'll click OK. Now I need to make an object out of each of these. So I'm going to create an object for OBJ main. Oops. And I'm going to let that be the main character. And I'll program him in a minute. And then OBJ enemy. And give him that sprite. OK. And now, before we go further, I'm actually going to just create my room with the objects in it. And under settings, I'm just going to call this RM level 1. And I will go to um, objects and add, let's say, I'll add three or four ghosts, and I'll add my main guy, OK? And now I've got to program it so it does what it needs to do. So <clears throat> my main character, I'll real simply program it to move. So for this example, I'm just going to use keyboard left, move left at a speed of four. I can duplicate this and go for keyboard right. Duplicate it again, keyboard up, duplicate it again, keyboard down. Of course, I have to change this because this one's going, they're all set to go left. So for up, I'm going to get rid of left and change it to move up. For right, oops, and for down. Now, I also don't like when my player just keeps moving even when I'm not pressing a key. So I always like to add the keyboard no key and have him stop. OK? So right now I have my player moving. The enemy I will also have moving. I'll have him move uh, when he's created. We'll have the enemies um, moving how about in any one of these directions at a speed of 4. Uh, or actually, you know what, I'll just let him move any direction, okay? And I'm going to also say that when the enemies are outside the room, they should wrap the screen <clears throat> both horizontally and vertically, so both directions. So right now, this is what I have. Okay, so they're going all over the place. <coughs> it's pretty easy in a sense because they're not very smart ghosts, but We'll uh, not care about that for the moment. So now I'm going to, for my main character, when the game starts, I'm going to set the lives to be, let's say, three. And I'm going to also, this score caption is good to bring in here because by default it shows the score, 
but it doesn't show lives and doesn't show health. So in this example, I'm not even really using um, score. I'm just using lives. So I'm going to show lives with the caption lives. Okay. Now, when my player collides with the enemy, we need to lose one life. So that's going to be negative one. And it needs to be relative because we want to keep going down by one. And this is where we always want to check if we're down to zero because the only time our lives would ever be zero <clears throat> are at a time where we just lost one health. So I'm going to check here, test lives. If lives equals zero, then, and these indicate the then, the blocks here. If lives are zero, then I'm going to do a couple of things, actually. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to say, game over. Do you want to try again? OK, that gives us a choice because this is another test. So I'm going to throw in another block here. And <clears throat> if they answer yes to that question, then I want to restart the game. If they answer no to that question, we want to end the game. So it's really as simple as that for that, if we're just isolating that skill here. So uh, I don't see, oh, we have a few issues. But one thing <clears throat> interesting is that I don't see the score caption. Show lives, lives. All right, we're going to try that again. The one thing that I didn't account for also is that when I collide with an enemy, once I lose a life, I should either maybe jump to start or at least eliminate the enemy that I just, you know, died by. So I'm going to destroy the instance. If, if I'm going to lose a life, so is he. And I'll make that other. <clears throat> and I'll also, um, yeah, that should be good for now. So let's see. OK, I just lost one life, two lives, lives, three. And then it asked me, game over, do you want to try again? I could say no or yes. So here I'll say no, and it quits out of the game. There you have it.